What's up guys? In today's video I'm going to be reviewing a brand new Hohem gimbal that was just released. I've been a fan of Hohem gimbals in the past, I've reviewed many of them. Two of my favourite ones that I'm using currently is the Hohem iSteady V2, a very compact, portable, nice small gimbal for your phone and the Hohem Go which is a two axis rotating AI gesture gimbal which I use on my tripod sometimes. This is the brand new one that was just released today. This is the Hohem iSteady M6. This is the full complete kit that comes with this magnetic AI vision sensor fill light. Really excited to show you how this works. It's very premium looking. The features that you get on this gimbal for your smartphone, you would generally find for those larger gimbals for your DSLR or mirrorless cameras. And just to give you a quick snapshot of some of the key features of the gimbal, I'll just show you the reverse of the box. This is all complemented with the Hohem Joy app that you can download by scanning the QR code. It comes with all of the main accessories you would expect, including the tripod, a very nice storage bag, USB-C charging cable, a Type-C to Type-C charging cable, and you can also purchase a Type-C to Lightning cable for iPhone separately. So let's go ahead, test this out, see all of the features, setting up, go through the app and give you guys some sample footage of how stable this looks as well as testing it out with this AI vision fill light so let's get into it okay so here's the gimbal a very nice design let's go through some of the buttons and the ports and how to balance it so you've got a nice little OLED display here which I'll turn on and showcase all of the different features for joystick shutter button mode button on the right hand side you have the power button you just hold down for a few seconds the USB-C charging port you also get a quarter inch thread if you want to mount any other accessories like another larger light or maybe a microphone you can do that you have the Rolex's lock switch it's a little latch there at the bottom you just flip upwards trigger button and this is quite nice you have yourself a control wheel which can do various different things this is actually what is going to control the magnetic light that's actually on the phone mount and I'll showcase how to do that you have a B trajectory buttons to show maybe a time lapse or panoramic shot you've got another quarter inch thread there if you want to mount anything else another accessory and then you've got a third one just at the top there right next to where the phone is mounted if you want to maybe connect a microphone that's connected to your phone then there's plenty of different options to really make this a super powerful all-in-one filming solution to balance the gimbal you've got yourself some measurements there with a little latch you can just move this left and right to make sure your phone is balanced and then you lock it back in place. It's very quick and easy to do so. On the phone mount itself, it tells you which direction to face the camera so you know that it's mounted correctly. Now with this magnetic AI fill light, this actually is detachable. You can take this off and you can actually face it in both direction. Quick and easy to do that. You've got a little on and off switch just there on the right hand side. And then this will enable the AI gesture control if you want to use that. I will turn this on and showcase how to use the different color schemes, but this is also not just a warm light that you can use as a studio light, but this also has the whole RGB spectrum. So you can actually turn this light red, blue, green, yellow, whatever you like. And this is something that I've not found on any other gimbal so far. And it's for me personally, really going that step further to give you the best experience for no matter what scenario you want to do your filming for. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount the phone. I will load it up with the Hoham Joy app. So you just need to make sure that it is balanced, move the little axis at the back, hold down the power button, and it will center it for you. So very quick and easy. You've got a trigger button at the back to recenter the phone. So by default, it is set to pan follow. If you wanted to change the mode, you just press it once, it goes to pan tilt follow, locked, POV, and then back to pan follow. If you double press, this will go forward. If you single press, this will go back to the modes that it has. If you triple press, this goes into permanent 360 degree inception mode. So you can see this will keep rotating and tilting 360 degrees and you can stop it at any time by just hitting the mode button again. So it's kind of like an infinite inception so you can create some really cool videos like this. And then back to pan follow. So you have your joystick here as well. Very easy, left, right, up and down. Now before we move on to the fill light and AI gestures, let's go quickly through the app. As you would expect from a Hoham app, you can go from video, photos, panoramic, time lapse. You can set the settings for that. 
then you also have at the bottom slow motion as well and then when you go to moment these are all of the different preset templates that you can use this will basically create it for yourself you have inception smart dolly zoom dolly zoom smart motion time lapse panoramic video clone me and fantastic rotation i'll try some of these out and i'll showcase that during this video you can also change the settings, you can change the resolution to 4K and 30 frames per second, which is what I will shoot at. And everything that I'm going to shoot in this video will have the magnetic light on top. I will not remove this, just to show you how everything works with that always attached. If you go into settings, you can change more of the general settings you would expect from an app like this. Then you can also change the gimbal parameter settings from here as well, just to customize a bit of the features that I've just shown you. So now let's move on and talk a little bit about the control wheel and what this can do because I really like this feature. Okay, so if you double tap this, this will go into focus mode. If you double tap again, this can go into roll mode with the control wheel. So I've got it in focus mode. I'll just start recording and you'll see as I move the control wheel, I can control the manual focus. In the settings, you can also use this to control the zoom if you switch it around. But I think manual focus wheels are quite good, especially if you want to really take your filming to that next level and be in kind of more of a professional setting. If I double tap this, you'll see on the OLED screen, it goes from focus to roll just there on the top left. So now this can go left and right roll up to 45 degrees like so. And it's a very smooth motion, which I quite like. There you have it, double tap the trigger to go back to center. I'm now going to turn this on with the switch. You'll see there's a red light that turns on, on the fill light, you get two flashes to say that it is ready. So now I can start using gesture controls for this to follow me around the room. So let's take a look at that demo first. So it's very simple, two main gestures. You give the okay hand symbol to start the tracking and you give the full five palm to stop the tracking and that will go green to let you know that it has started. So I'm gonna be about maybe half a meter away. Very quick and easy, the light has gone green. I can now move around the room and just like the previous Hoham gimbals I've shown you, this works very well. So I can stand up. If I go left and right, move around, you can see how quick and easy this follows me. And then when I'm ready to stop, it's now stopped, the light has gone red and it's just done a great job. So I'm very happy that this works so well. And this is one of the reasons why I'm such a big fan of Hoham gimbals, especially with the AI gestures working so smoothly and so quickly. Now I did mention if you wanted to, you can actually take this off. So if you're shooting someone else, you can face the light towards them and get that on the subject. So now let's dive into that magnetic light, which is one of the key features of this gimbal. It's simple, once you have the switch on, to turn the light on, you just hold down the control wheel for about four or five seconds. There you go, it turns on. And by default, you have the CCT spectrum, so it goes from a cool white to a warm white. And to show you that, you'll see on the OLED screen there, you can see the percentage of the brightness level of the light and what spectrum of the Kelvin scale the light is on. To switch between that, I just need to press the control button once. You can see it's now moved over to the Kelvins and I can switch backwards and forwards if I wanted to. Now the light is on, on the Kelvin spectrum, if I now go maximum 6,500 Kelvins, this is a very cool white light. And if I go all the way down, 2,700 is a very warm white. Let me go ahead and make it the max brightness to 100 and you can also dim it down all the way to 1%. Very quick and easy and I really like how this works. Now if I triple press this, this switches over to the RGB spectrum so you can see there's a blue light. If I cycle through, you can see I can keep going until I find the right color. 
and it goes through the whole RGB scale. And I've not seen anything like this on a smartphone gimbal. This is really cool if you want to create some nice effects, some nice video filters or anything like that. And again, you can also press the button once to switch the brightness level of this color. So now what I want to do is just quickly turn off the lights a little bit on the studio behind me and put it back onto the warm light. I will make it 100% and see how much of a difference this makes when filming in low light conditions. Okay, so I've turned the lights off from my studio lights. I've closed the shutters. I have a little bit of background ambient lighting, but that's fine. This is how it looks with the fill light turned off. And if I turn it on, it's just made me illuminated. It's so clear now. And if I really wanted to feel myself in kind of like darker rooms, darker environments, this fill light actually works very well. Even though it is quite small, it does a great job. So if you really wanted to film maybe in an indoor setting where there isn't a lot of natural light coming in or it's very dark or it doesn't have bright white lights, maybe in a gym for example, then having this small fill light will really capture that video and show you all the details and give you that clarity that you need. It's just a small attachment which I think goes a very long way. So no matter how you're filming, what you're filming, just having that strong magnetic attachment on the top of your gimbal that will just really stand out, not for yourself, but for other people that are in your filming. Okay, so there's nothing left to do other than take this outside, get some really cool shots, use the gimbal with the app and showcase some of those smart motion templates and see how this performs. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm outdoors ready to do some filming. Now, before I shoot some sample footage, I just wanted to showcase how to turn this into portrait mode because I will take some portrait mode shots. It's very simple. All you have to do is tilt the gimbal sideways like this. It automatically switches to portrait mode. And then you just kind of move this forward in front of you and you hold it like a torch. It's so simple. You don't need to worry about pressing any buttons, double pressing. It's just controlled with the gesture. And then you get it back to vertical like this and then shoot horizontally like that. So very quick and simple. Let's go ahead, test out some of the sample footage using the Hohem Joy app. And let's see how it looks.
So as you saw from that footage, guys, I've found it so smooth, so easy to use. It has this enhanced stabilization system that they've built into their software and into the gimbal itself, which has been so much more smoother than not just previous Hohem gimbals I've used, but pretty much any gimbal that I've used. It's packed with a lot of features. I really like using the actual zoom button as well. You'll notice that around the shutter button, you have this kind of orange metallic switch. If you use this, you can see on the camera, it zooms in and out very smooth zoom which i really like a lot of zooms i've seen in the past have been very jittery and again if i just wanted to record myself walking i can triple press the trigger button at the back and switch it around and use the back camera on my iphone 14 pro max so it's packed with so many different features i really like this and hopefully you guys found that footage as good as i did so there you have it guys the hohem iSteady m6 very impressed with this it's got tons of features I was able to get you know a full day's worth of shooting done and this has 18 hours of battery life which I can't fault because you know that's more than you need just charge it up it's very quick charging and it just packed with so many features this is now my number one go-to gimbal for my smartphone for me personally Hoham have always produced really awesome gimbals and I've been such a big fan of their product for many many years and this is no exception to find out all the details about this brand new release, hit the link in the description, find out all the latest pricing information, any discounts they're running, any offers. If you have any other questions about this gimbal and its capabilities, of course, drop a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe. I review gimbals and all other tech, which I know you're gonna like, so make sure you catch those when they do get released. Make sure to like this video, and I will catch you at the next one. Take care.